Political pressure is building on House Speaker Dennis Bonin. Tomorrow, that House committee begins investigating the secret recording of Bonin. Now, though, Texas Democrats are taking Bonin to court. What do Democrats want from all of this? Joining us now from Austin is Manny Garcia, the executive director of the Texas Democratic Party. Manny, how are you, man? Very good. Thanks for having me. And thanks for being on the program here. What do Democrats want from this lawsuit? What's the purpose of it? Look, we, we believe it's critically important that Texans uh, know what is happening in their government on their dime. Uh, and what we have seen uh, over the past several weeks are very troubling reports about a meeting that happened inside the Texas Capitol during a period of time when legislators are not supposed to be fundraising. Uh, and it was a conversation that was happening on government time about uh, how dark money operatives were going to work with the speaker to accomplish a certain set of political goals um, and use money in campaigns. And we believe that conversation forms a political action committee. And that needs to be registered and that needs to be transparent and that needs to be told to the people of Texas. So do you that has not happened uh, and that's why we went to court. Do, Manny, do you, does the party think that the, the speaker might have broken house rules on here or violated the law? You know, what we have seen on a number of things is you know, we believe this is a clear violation of Texas election code. Um, further, from people who are, are uh, t have, have heard this recording and who are talking about this recording, it appears like there's a lot of other troubling action that may have happened. Uh, violations of ethics, violations of norms for sure. Um, but in addition, just real vile comments that were made about members of the legislature, duly elected representatives of the people, um, and possibly criminal activity. Well, um, and what's important with, is that we are all transparent and accountable. And it, well, we, we think that ultimately, you know, this is a civil case, and, yeah. and we think we have a pretty clear lane here on the election code, but ultimately well, law enforcement authorities should hear this tape uh, and pursue any investigation necessary. Let me ask you this, Manny. Um, the speaker obviously was elected unanimously from Democrats as well. Uh, several Democrats are chairing committees. The, the speaker, you know, shared the wealth, if you will, there as well. Should Bonin resign as speaker because of this? You know, Texas historically has a bipartisan coalition that comes together and elects its leader. Um, as we have been seeing over this time, there are some very troubling issues that the speaker has been involved with. I think what we all need to know, what those members who ultimately make the decision of whether or not, you know, who amongst them is going to be the speaker of the house, what those members need to know, what they have been asking for is full transparency and full accountability. Should, should he they resign? They need to hear though? that tape. The people of Texas need to hear that tape. And, and if some of these allegations are, are true, what we have seen, criminal conduct, criminal conduct does not, it, the, should not happen inside the Texas Capitol. It should not happen anywhere and it should be held accountable. And would folks could, could have criminal conduct, they do not deserve to be the Speaker of the House. Yeah, and, and of course, we don't know if there's any you know, criminal conduct that actually happened. That's what the purpose of, of your lawsuit, right. the party's lawsuit, and the House uh, uh, investigation is too. Bottom line, though, yes or no question, do you, do you think uh, Bonin can survive? I honestly don't believe he can survive. Okay. Uh, I, I think looking at, at trust has been broken here. All right. Um, and, and nonetheless, look, Texas is changing. There was no guarantee that Republicans were going to be able to hold the Texas House to begin with. Everything was on thin ice to begin with, and we're quite confident that Texas Democrats are going to flip the Texas House uh, and that we will have a Democratic speaker next. We, we will see what happens next year. Manny Garcia is the executive director of the Texas Democratic Party. Good to see you again. Thank you.